Hey girl. Oh my gosh, so I'm so excited to be doing this video because I feel like it's kind of overdue. I feel like not enough people are talking about this, but uh, a fellow YouTuber, Stargirl the Practical Witch, who if you don't know her, uh, you should absolutely know her. I'll put her link to her YouTube channel down below, but she's actually what inspired me heavily to do pick a cards because it was her pick a cards that made me realize how accurate pick a cards could be. And I kind of view her as one of the trailblazers of pick a cards, though I know her passions heavily lie into astrology, which brings me to what I'm talking about. Um, she has a store that she recently opened up called Lilith Ascendant. Well, like first and foremost, her website is just Ah, like so gorgeous, so aesthetically just pleasing. Like I wish her website was up whenever I created my website so I could have taken some inspiration from her. But her website is called Lilith Ascendant, which I feel like is so perfect for her because she, her passion is into astrology, at least I believe it is. And she identifies heavily with the story of Lilith. And, and I know many of you guys who are not new to my channel probably already have at some point connected to Lilith. I myself am no stranger to Lilith. Lilith was one of the first uh, beings that I connected to that had a darker energy. And in fact, I have her sigil on my shoulder uh, right here with her N as well, uh, which I can't show you right now. But yeah, I've really always really heavily resonated with Lilith as well. And so I just found it to be such a beautiful touch to her website to have her website just you would in the name of it just have a deep meaning and her website itself she has right now she sells candles of the different zodiac signs i know in the making of this video her virgo candle is going to be coming out here in like the next few hours which is really exciting i'm going to be waiting for the libra one because i'm, I'm a libra and probably also the scorpio one because i'm a libra scorpio cusp now this isn't her only potion that she has she has about five others i believe other topical potions uh varying and different purposes i know one she has for past life one she has for an ethical love spell as well and i believe she also has a lilith ascendant topical potion as well all of them seem so wonderful but i was just mostly drawn to the jupiter return topical one just because it just seems so aesthetically pleasing and plus going into the description what she included into the potion which i'll read right now let me put on my broken reading glasses Let's go. So just reading off from the description that she has for her website for the Jupiter Return Potion, this is a, an essential blend including all natural ingredients designed to turn you into a magnet for earthly abundance and success while leading you to your destiny, perfect to use for manifesting any wish into your reality, easing anxiety, and turn, which girl we really need, let me put on some right now as I'm reading this, uh, perfect to use for manifesting any wish into reality, easing anxiety, turning you into an energetic match for auspicious luck. This scent will also boost faith in the divine and promote optimism of the future. The following ingredients were carefully selected in order to make this powerful blend. And then she lists the ingredients, which I feel like is very valuable to know, just one for like sensitivity reasons as well as also just able to do some research and figure out why she included different ingredients into the topical potion. And she also goes into detail about it. Uh, so she has cedar wood into this, which she talks about how the cedar wood comes into grounding wishes into reality. Uh, clary sage, clary sage, which I've never actually heard of this kind of sage before, which just helps with clearing energetic blockages and bad luck. Sandalwood, which is just a wonderful scent to have for like incense, but sandalwood is for angelic aid. Chamomile flowers, which attract luck. Authentic aventine crystals, which are known for, which is known as the stone of opportunity. And also since it's the main oil in here, or it is the oil in here, she includes is soybean oil. And I don't know if this is actually intentional, or not and I wasn't even aware of this until my friend brought it up but beans in general are good for manifesting in abundance so that's just like such an extra layer added to uh, this entire topical potion I was actually drawn to the Jupiter return topical potion just because of the fact that it was had heavy female energy into it now if you look closely at the vial itself which I feel like you can just see it and you instantly just read feminine maybe it's because of the chamomile chamomile bulbs that are in here I believe that, that that's what I'm seeing in here but overall it's just very feminine which I feel like is very unique when it comes to manifest manifestation um, products I always feel like there's usually a heavy uh, masculine energy to it when you are adding like citrine or when you're adding um, 
pyrite for example as well these kind of stones regard more so for like a masculine energy so i was just really drawn to try out this product that radiates a lot more of a feminine energy to it that actually doesn't even have any citrine or pyrite incorporated into the topical potion for something involving manifestation which i find to be extremely interesting i kind of want would be interested to know why she chose this combination but how i will be incorporating this topical potion into my daily manifestation rituals i will probably as she suggests she suggests to roll it on your wrist one of your wrists and to get some of the product on and then you rub your wrist together and that is when you're going to be able to get the scent to it and now for me personally uh the scent is very it's very light it's something that i would kind of associate like a summer afternoon for i guess is the best way i can really describe this scent but something that's very subtle that i feel like is very important because if you're going to be actively wearing an or topical potion like this when you're actively trying to manifest something you don't really want it to be too potent of a smell because if that's all you're smelling you're going to get sick of the smell and actually have like create a little bit of resentment towards the smell which is you're going to end up manifesting something with a lower vibration but that's not what this video is about now for me personally, I'm going to be incorporating this and just having that on my wrist and probably on the sides of my neck as well. I may also, through talking to one of my other friends as well, again, who mentioned the soybean oil, he also brought up the potential for hematite for um, incorporating it in some way. And so I may just use one of my hematite bracelets while on the wrist that I rubbed the oil on to, because hematite is also similar to what cedar wood does also, which helps ground energies into the physical. And so I will probably be, probably be incorporating hematite, a hematite bracelet while I'm wearing this oil, while also incorporating these suggestions that she has in some of her manifestation videos, which again, I'm going to be linking down below her 30 day manifestation ritual that is revolving around the moon cycle. I actually knew to, well, felt really drawn to incorporate her, this technique, especially with this oil, because as some of you guys have known through my picker cards recently, Archangel Michael has been really popping up for me. And and whenever in that video, which was months ago that she did this, while she was writing out the example in her letter for the 30 days of manifestation and just going through the whole moon process ritual, the example she was using, she wrote out Archangel Michael. So I was just like, okay, universe, I'll take that as a breadcrumb. I'll take this as a sign to actively try this out and see my results with it. And so now my own thoughts on this topical potion. Well, again, obviously I can't really talk about the results of this potion quite yet, just because I haven't had the ample opportunity and to give this topical potion enough time to really help me manifest whatever it is I'm trying to actively manifest in my life. It's a more feminine approach or more feminine energy to abundance, to manifestation. And I don't say this as if it's like a negative or a positive. I feel like this is something that's just very a matter of how you just are with energies. But I bring this up just because there's a couple of different things that I'm curious as to why she chose not to include them in it. And again, I'm sure she has a reasoning, so it's not that I would necessarily add them, it's more so just out of my own curiosity of why she chose to not include things like gold flakes, for example, I feel like would be such a gorgeous addition to this uh, vial. It's just already so gorgeous with all the different things in it that it's so like i don't know i feel like just with gold flakes and just the energy of gold flakes would be such a nice addition to it um also just as a side note she added way more than she added plenty of adventine but not like a bunch to where you only had like a very minimal amount of oil it's just like a very healthy dose amount you know? i know you'll find with some other oil rollers that they either were add just one stone of the oil for the entire vial and just have it just be that one singular stone or they will fill the vial up all the way with stone and that way there's just hardly any room for oil and any other ingredients to be in there so you don't really get much for it i find this to be just like a nice balance but the other uh on the subject with crystals the only other thing that i would I'm curious about as to why she chose to not add, which I feel like most people would associate when it comes to energy or when it comes to manifestation and abundance, why she chose not to include a crystal like citrine. And again, maybe this is just partially because she found Aventine to be more fitting for the dynamic of the other ingredients that she was adding and just more so fitting for the overall energy that she was trying to include in this which would make sense um but yeah that's just like a couple of things that i was thinking about my friend recently purchased a manifestation oil uh where it's just a citrine and actually the ball itself is it was a citrine ball as well so 
which is obviously going to be a little bit a lot more expensive actually to be able to incorporate that for each roller so if you have your own uh, balls of citrine or whatever stone that you would like maybe even uh, hematite maybe even like a hematite ball that would be extremely cheap and you could replace the uh, plastic ball that you have that comes with the roller but don't feel like you have to this is just like just this is just like someone that's observing the product itself and like thinking about what they would do what I would do personally to change it if I f felt like there needed to be a change but overall I'm really excited to be trying out this product and again I am going to definitely be doing a updated video later on after I do my manifestation rituals for a full moon cycle with this topical potion. I'm going to be including it in my everyday as much as I can for sure and I'm going to be documenting it and just let you guys know the results of it but yeah absolutely please guys if you don't already know who Stargirl the Practical Witch please check her out. I'll link her store down below because I truly feel like she her store has not gotten the hype that it deserves. It kind of has blown me away that <laughs> because it's just such a beautiful store. And I don't know, anytime that I see a woman thriving and a woman claiming her power, it's just uh, like I eat it with a spoon. Y'all don't understand. I love a powerful woman. And to see her to start her business or really be more forward with her business now and to really start building this empire that she already has actively built, but really to start taking more active steps towards it. It just, it makes me so happy and I really want, wish her the world and I really want more attention, more hype behind her store because her store is just absolutely gorgeous. I think the products that she's offering and her approach to everything is just so insanely unique. And so yeah, please check out the store and let me know. Maybe you guys can also pick up the same topical potion. We can do the same manifestation rituals that she talks about in one of her other videos. So but yeah, guys, please check out her stuff. And, and as an added bonus, which I forgot to mention, for each purchase that she does, she is partnered with uh, a foundation called, nonprofit organization called F the FEA Foundation, where their their goal is to feed or to end world hunger. And so each per for each purchase, uh, she actually, Lilith the Sun, donates a meal, which is just such a nice bonus, all things considered, because her prices aren't overpriced. Her, it's actually really decently priced for what it is that you're getting. And on top of that, she's donating a meal for each purchase. And so it's like, when you really look at it, she's not doing this just out of just as like a money grab. She genuinely cares about this. She's talked about creating or she oils and uh, different topical potions for months or if not years now. I, remember, I know a specific video where she was walking people through on how to make their own topical potions. And so for something like this, like this whole thing, this whole package for her, this whole website, this whole store is just so her and I'm so happy for her. And I can tell that she put a lot of work into this. And so because she put a lot of work into this, I feel like she deserves a lot more hype. She deserves a lot more love for everything that she's doing. And so yeah, please check her out, you guys. But until next time, guys, I see you, I hear you, and I love you so much. Bye, guys.